Hello, my name's Carla. Welcome to my channel at Stitch Me Sane. This is my channel where I talk about my love of all things cross stitching. This is floss tube number two, and it's Sunday, the 4th of December, here in Melbourne, Australia. I'm really excited because it's 34 degrees today, or 94 degrees Fahrenheit. So summer is, is coming, and I love summer. As I said, this is floss tube number two, and I would just like to acknowledge that I am so overwhelmed, beaming with excitement from ear to ear, doing happy dances, since I posted my first video about two weeks ago, my whip parade. The comments, likes, subscribes, um, feedback, you know, engagement, interaction, support that I have re received since then. Um, thank you. It, I have been blown away. Um, I'm back and I'd like to share today with you some progress that I have made on pieces that I did show you. Certainly not all of them. Um, and I have two new starts and as the title of this video suggests, I'd like to share some cells that I've been working on, which as I went through them, turns out to be every piece except one. So let's get into the stitching. The first piece I want to show is Ariel, which I'm stitching for my closest friend for her milestone birthday coming up in a few years. And whilst this is an ambitious piece, I am going to really challenge myself to get it finished in time. I'm showing it first so that if she doesn't want to continue watching the rest of the video, she doesn't have to. Um, it's Ariel, it's a Haid chart. And I'm stitching it one over one on 28 count, Cream Lugana. This is the finished piece. She's really pretty. I'm not actually stitching, it's not a full coverage piece and the white on the bottom is not actually stitched. So the cell for this one is I ditch the background cell that Kaylee Ten Stitch, both on Floss Tube and Instagram um, has a hashtag going where you can post really, they're, they're pretty much full coverage pieces, but you ditch the background to make them a lot quicker to get a finish. And so luckily I'm not stitching all the white on that piece. I'll pop up a photo of the progress that I had last time I showed it on my first video, if you'd like to go and have a look. And here is where I'm at now. I'm really pleased. I have started working on the eye. I find if I start working on darker colors, I have something to anchor from. Uh, to then work on the lighter colors without miscounting as easily as I would if those darker stitches weren't there. So I'm really pleased that eye, you can see the eyebrow just there taking shape and the colors are just so pretty. I'm now at 1.68% and the artwork is Anna Dittman charted by Hayde. And the cell is ditch the background cell. Okay, next piece is arrival to spring. I'm stitching this for my mum and I do like stitching uh, for other people. Um, I started this recently in October together with the Anna Dittman piece for my friend and this is also another Hayde chart. It's a big one and the hashtag I'm using for the cell is I just want a fly cell. That's another hashtag by Kaylee Turn Stitch and um, Angie Slowly Crafts. She's also on Floss Tube and Instagram, so check them both out. And it's a it's a hashtag where if you're stitching any piece with a bird, just use the hashtag. There's a lot going on, and it's so much fun. So this is one of mine. I have a few. Um, stitching it for my mum, and it's charted by Hayde Natasha Chora is the artist. You can see the birds there. I'm looking forward to getting to one of the birds. I'm stitching a piece 28 count, one over one. I'll pop in where I was when I showed it last time. And this is where I'm at now, up the right way. You can see the lips coming in now. I'm so happy. I've been working on that area. I do need to go back to the skin 
Skin is tricky, we all know that. But I am really pleased with those lips and the colour. Oh, really, really lovely. I'm currently at 1.79% now on this piece. So I'm very pleased with the progress that I've made. Okay, next piece is a paper chart. A lot of you expressed interest in this um, piece in your comments. Thank you so much for taking the time to do that. I might add, I really do enjoy reading every single one of them and responding to you all. Um, this is charted by Gecko Rouge, artwork by Heather Geller. Unfortunately, I actually wanted another chart um, by Heather and I reached out to Gecko Rouge and they let me know that they no longer chart Heather Geller. I've been unable to find anyone else that does, so please reach out if you're successful in finding someone that does chart her work because it's so colourful, cheerful, bright and happy. And this piece is called Chicago, charted by Gecko Rouge. And it is so good. I love it. It's so bright and colourful. That's the finished piece there. I'm stitching this with my sister. She's stitching another chart, a Frida, also charted by Heather, uh, artwork by Heather Geller. I'll pop in the progress where I was last time I showed this. And this is where I'm at now. The hashtag I'm using is the Stitch 30 Daily. Uh, Angie Slowly Crafts is using it together with some other stitches on YouTube, Suki the Brown Eyed Stitcher, Adventures of Stitching, Alicia. Um, you get really great progress with this method and um, Suki's is really fantastic at the moment. She's got the temperature bookshelf. Um, she's been working on it and you can see the daily effort that's put in because it's really taking shape. This is my effort so far that I've tried to get back on the bandwagon Angie with. Chicago, I'm stitching at 2 over 1 on 18 count Ada. And this is where I'm at. For the last couple of days, I have been just working on these trees down here. I really like the trees in this piece. They're round compared to the square buildings and it really just makes it pop so let's see how i go i don't do it every day truthfully <laughs> but um i would like to try i'm about 40 percent through on that piece um and i really need to get into the sky and the river a little bit more so stitch 30 daily on instagram Pick a piece and just work on it every day for 30 minutes. It's really fun. You see really great, great progress. Okay, next piece is, let me just pull that up for you. This is a piece by Dona Stitch. I'm stitching two of them at the moment. The first one is The Little Mermaid. Um, they are really bright and colorful and fun. And I've been working it working on this one just a little bit on a Monday for the Mermaid Monday cell uh, hosted by Alira. Um, on Instagram she is Alira918 at Alira918. So just a little bit on a Monday but I will show you what I have done. This is the finished piece. So colourful. Just in time for the movie release too next year, which I'm excited for. I'm stitching it 28 count, one over one on linen, which was my very first piece on linen. And so far I'm really liking it. Um, it's a little bit challenging at night, but during the day, oh, the effect, it's fantastic. This, oh, this is where I was. I'll pop in a photo. And this is where I am now. As you can see, I've just popped a little bit more in with that orange, just down here and a little bit more pink up there. 
but that sail is taking shape rather nicely. Hello Eric with my Little Mermaid needle minder. So that's donor stitch. Mermaid Monday sale. If you're stitching any mermaid piece, use the hashtag. Alira's is fantastic. Ooh. Okay, the next one is another donor stitch piece. I'm stitching this one on the same fabric as the Little Mermaid because ultimately I might like the collection of the donor stitch fairy tales. And this is Alice in Wonderland which I am stitching for the Everything Alice Sell and Bar at Barbara at Stitch Brat on Instagram and I are hosting this sell. And we are hoping that anyone that's stitching an Alice in Wonderland piece will like to use the hashtag with us, Everything Alice Sell. So I'll show you what this piece is going to look like finished. It is a companion piece to The Little Mermaid. Let me just get that for you. Okay. All right. Another really bright, colorful, fun piece to stitch. It's about 45,000 this one, I think. Not quite full coverage, but, but pretty much. And so I thought I would start with Alice this is where I was at before when I showed it last fortnight. And this is where I'm at now. With my Bluey Needle Minder. Bluey is the best kids cartoon I have ever seen. Get on it. And there's Alice. I'll bring that in. 28 count, one over one linen. I'm thinking of maybe doing the outline on this piece first and then going back to color it in. I haven't quite decided. I certainly didn't start that way on my Little Mermaid piece. You can see the um, White Rabbit's ears coming in. This has been so much fun to stitch and I've posted her a little bit on Instagram now. Anyway, that's her. And so that's everything Alice sell. As I said, a lot of these um, I'm doing as stitch alongs or start alongs. And there's no dates, there's no pressure, it's just fun. Okay, this one actually isn't a sell and the only one that I'm going to show today that isn't part of a sell that I've been working on. It's called Unicorn by Carolyn Manning. And um, there was actually a lot of uh, interest in the three Carolyn Manning pieces that I'm working on at the moment but this one in particular is Unicorn and I'm actually stitching it on 20 count Ada for a bit of a change I do stitch on most fabrics um, in particular I've now joined linen to the mix which I'm really liking um, but I do stitch on Ada and Lugana as well I will just pull up what Unicorn looks like finished. As I said, I'm stitching it in four separate pieces. One piece each for my three daughters and I. And that's the finished piece. It's really pretty. So I've been working on one square only for the last fortnight. This is my travel piece that I use when I leave the house. I just have it in a bag and I take it with me. It's a really easy stitch and it's small and it gives me really quick progress, which, which is fun because a lot of my other pieces are really big. As you know, I am primarily a full coverage stitcher and it does take time sometimes to see results of your work. So it's nice to have some smaller pieces on the go at the same time to to just get that little reward, you know, that little instant. Mm. So I'll pop up here where I was at last time. I have put in, I think, um, around 350 stitches on this, which I think is fantastic given I just whip it out whenever I've got a moment if I've left the house. And this is where I'm at now. So 20 count, one o no, two over one, full cross. I really like the colors in this particular one. 
probably about 25% done on this particular square. But overall, because I'm working on all four pieces sort of in a rotation every two or three weeks, um, the overall piece is at 28.43%. So I'll continue working on this piece as my travel piece for 2023 as well and see how far I can get with it. Um, interestingly, I've decided I think I'm going to swap it out now and take on this one and just get a little bit of progress on this one. Just show you that one. Probably work on that one for the next little while or so. Just kind of pause for a moment. Okay, so now I want to just talk a little bit about the next few pieces that I'm going to show and my vision that I did mention in my first floss tube a fortnight ago, my wall of women. I'm thinking moving forward, I might show these pieces at the end um, for whatever I've been working on for this particular vision of mine. And that is a wall of amazing women um, created by Cross Stitch. And a few of you actually commented on my t-shirt as well that I was wearing in my last video. So I decided to go with the same theme again today. Um, and they're from Mr. Price in South Africa, if anyone's interested, um, when I traveled there earlier this year and I bought a few and I really like them. So thank you for, for shouting that out. Um, so my wall of women, the first one that I've been working on since I last saw you is Paradise and it is charted by Hade. I have in total five Hades and I think uh, three of them I have shown you today, including Paradise coming up now. Here is the mock-up. I started this for my birthday this year and she is definitely going on my wall of women the artwork is by janelle nickel and i am working on 25 count one over one full cross lugana here is where i was at last time i showed you and here i am now so i still have her on the hoop because I was actually working on this piece last night and I got a fair bit in. As you can see, I have come down here now and that flower is starting to really appear because I've done a little bit of work around the outside of it now. I'm really pleased with this piece so far, how it's stitching up. The hashtag that I'm using for this one is also the I just want to fly sale because there is a bird on this piece that I'll eventually get to um, as I keep working on it. But I did make some nice progress since I last saw you on this one and I'm now at 2.4%. So yeah, I just want to fly sell. As I said, I think I have um, three or four pieces that I'm, I'm contributing to and it's a really fun if you're working on any bird piece, no matter how big or small. Um, hey, 25 count, one over one, full cross. The next one I want to show you is the one that I've actually made the most um, progress on and worked on the most since I last saw you. It is my unconventional cross stitch piece, Enter the Void 2. And I started this after my trip to South Africa earlier this year in April. I will show you the finished piece. The artwork is Adrian Border. And the hashtag I'm using for this one is not border this cell, Kaylee Tent Stitch. And oh goodness, there's a whole range of other people on Instagram using this hashtag. Um, any Adrian Border artwork and use the hashtag not border this cell and it is I love this piece a lot there she is oh that hat is so big full of 25 26 27 DMC 0102 I think 03 it, it's just so many pastels 
So I'll show you where I was last time that I showed this piece. And um, I indicated to you that I'd love to get it to 10% by the end of the year. Um, I, am, I am getting there and I think I'll achieve that goal. I was headed towards the bottom border and I haven't quite made it, but this is where I have made it to. And you can kind of see the structure take shape now. I love how she's stitching up. I'll come in and bring that in. This is 25 count, one over one, full cross. And the bit that I really worked on was down here. To try and head down to that bottom border and around the neckline. I posted her recently on Instagram at Stitch Me Same. And she gets a really nice response on there. A lot of people like watching her face take shape, I think. I do enjoy stitching faces very much. And she's certainly a part of my wall of women. Into the Void 2, Adrian Border Artwork, charted by Unconventional Cross Stitch, who is an Australian chartist, a charter, which is rather exciting. So I'm going to keep working on her. Um, that's all of the progress that I have to show you since my last video. Going to keep working on Enter the Void and I'm going to swap out a few of my bigger pieces and rotate some of my other larger pieces in in the next couple of weeks before I film again, which hopefully should be before Christmas. Um, before I go, as I said, I had some new starts, which I would love to share with you now. And these pieces are charted by a fairly recently new business contemporary cross. Paula there has some amazing pieces to choose from and I have been lucky enough to start Midnight Poppy Fields with her and Kaylee together with now it appears Sammy Stitches 23 on Instagram and uh, T Teresa 1977 Teresa Harrington they're both stitching um, Emmy Mastonen artwork pieces because Paula at Contemporary Cross has started the most amazing cell, any Emmy cell. So that's E M N I, any Emmy cell, hashtag. And there's, I think, uh, eight pieces that you can choose from. So Midnight Poppy Fields was the first one um, that I was going to stitch with Kaylee and Paula. And it is gorgeous let's have a look this was my new start on the 1st of December it was my daughter's uh, seventh birthday and so I started this one and I am stitching it it's still on the hoop I'm stitching it 28 count one over one linen I was going to go Lugana but I had a bit of a fabric crisis before I was meant to start, the fabric was too small and Kaylee reassured me that the linen would be fine. So thank you, Kaylee, um, for that support. And here is my start. As you can see, it's fairly teeny tiny. Now, I have made a decision that I'm going to attempt extreme cross country with this piece. I'm going to start with the 310 and I think there is 70,000 plus stitches that really goes around the entire perimeter, if you like, of the piece and it joins up around the face. I thought it would be an ideal piece to try this method of stitching, despite me saying in my last video that I don't adhere to any methods. But I want to give it a go because I have seen others stitch extreme cross country on full coverage pieces and I am really blown away, quite fascinated by the way it comes together. So I'm going to try that. Here I am making these big goals, um, but I'm going to try that and that's what I've, I've started with. So uh, my small start is 0.19% on that one. But, you know, because go big or go home. Paula then had a sale. And so I felt that Midnight Poppy Fields needed a companion piece called Crimson Blossom and Tangerine Sky. And she is also going on my wall of women and she is stunning. 
So naturally I thought, well, companion piece, I best try and do these both extreme cross country. There's a lot of black in this one too, but I've started with the 939 on this one and 28 count, one over one linen. So two of my biggest pieces now are going to be on linen. Um, full coverage, big, lovely pieces. So I did start this one as well because why not? It's December, it's Christmas. I'm a little festive now. And this was my very, very small start. Very, very small start. But there it is, nonetheless. 28 count, one over one. This one's big. And I would really love to pump some solid progress into this piece, just lay down some stitches um, pretty fast this year, if I can, together with Midnight Poppy Fields. We'll see how we go to try and work through that 939 and 310. Um, I think I'm going to invest in a cone, everyone. I, I think it's time. <laughs> And before I do finish up, they're my new starts, but being December, I'm pretty excited to make a couple more new starts before the end of the year, because 2023, I do plan on making some solid progress on a lot of my pieces. Um, so before we finish up, I'm just going to show you two of the pending new starts that I have. One being, um, I'm going to start it next week for my partner's birthday. And I love this piece so much. It's by Kaylee Tent Stitch and her business is the, the Sewing Shop Inc. And this one is called Delphine. Would you look at her? Oh, look at the colors. I'm so excited to start this one. My youngest daughter, Fleur, is in love as well. Um, I'm going to stitch it on a 28 count. I just haven't quite decided whether it will be a linen or a Lugana quite enjoying the linen now I've had a crack at it and whew, I've started kidding I've pretty much got all the colors ready to go that will be a full coverage but then because that's not enough I got another one from Kaylee towards truth this one isn't full coverage so I will be using the hashtag ditch the background cell Kaylee also charts pieces without the background, which is really helpful if you want to try something big but don't really want to invest the time into all of the background that are on a lot of full coverage pieces. So this is glorious. It actually has, um, oh, I think it's some kind of metallic in that triangle, in the purple triangle there. Um, I don't have an exact start date, but it will be coming before the end of the year so keep an eye out on instagram for that because i always do post my new starts there at stitch me saying so they're the new starts that i'm hoping to have in the next fortnight probably before i see you um there is one other thing that i wanted to show you before i left and that was just a little kit that i did receive in the mail that i'm going to put away and maybe pull out next year if i just need a little start um, to keep me going through that year of progress that I'm planning and it's just a dimensions kit really cute called garden garden lady garden lady how to get that in there yeah little petites kit quite small on uh, ivory count 18 count sorry ivory ada 18 count so if I get the itch to start a new start next year, I might pull out a couple of kits that I've been putting away. So that's all I have for you for floss tube number two. As I said to you, thank you so very, very much for um, spending time with me today. And last week, if you did for any returning viewers, please remember to subscribe. Um, comment, like, I, I thoroughly enjoy getting to know you all. Any pieces that you saw today that you'd love to see more progress on, please let me know. I am really motivated by people wanting to see um, my work and I look forward to seeing you soon. So happy stitching everybody.